Hey gang, hello. Welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I wanted to highlight some leather products that were sent to me by Lumos Leather. Now, Lumos Leather is a husband and wife team. They make leather products, including, you know, there's belts, wallets, dog collars, key fobs, watch straps, even earrings. They're all handmade in Minneapolis, Minnesota, out of full grain leather, everything but the earrings. I think the earrings are genuine leather. Uh, I think full grain would be a little thick for earrings dangling from your ears. And they sent me these products to check out and to show to you. They actually included this really nice little handwritten note. Let me read this to you now. Bradley, thank you very much for reviewing my products. I really enjoy watching your videos. I just also wanted to let you know my full-time job right now is owning a lawn landscaping business. I got into leather work because my boots kept wearing out. I know what that's like. I researched good boots and found the best ones are made of high quality leather. That made me start to really study and love leather. My goal in everything I make is to make it super durable. I love the idea of buying things to last for a lifetime. Let me know if you have any questions. Grant, P.S. Hope you enjoy the products. Grant, I couldn't agree with you more. I have also worn through many, many boots in my lifetime and a nice full grain leather boot, a nice full grain leather anything is usually going to last much, much longer, gonna be much more durable. And I also do really appreciate something that you can buy once and never have to buy again. So let me show you some of the products they sent me. We'll go through each one. I'll tell you what I think of them, and maybe you can determine for yourselves whether or not it's worth checking out Lumos leather. First up is the Lumos Original Brown Belt. Now I'm gonna have links to all these products in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. This is $68 on their website. It is also available in black and tan. Now some of the important features here, this is made out of a 10 to 12 ounce English bridal leather from our good friends at Wicket and Craig. We've, we've talked about them before on the channel. I had another English bridal leather belt in the past. Wicket and Craig seems to make some damn good leather, I have to say. Bridal leather is made to be very strong. It was supposed to be made for, you know, saddles and saddlery back in the day, so it had to be very durable. And it also has kind of that push-up quality that in the past, we've talked about Horween Chrome XL, where it's sort of hot wax stuffed into the leather. So I don't know if you'll be able to see here, but it kind of pulls up away and gets lighter when it's bent. But you can rub that back in with heat or just friction. You can often rub out some of the scra scrapes and scratches that you'll get on this leather. So it's really cool stuff. And this is pretty thick for bridal leather. It is one and a half inches wide and it has Chicago screws holding the hardware in place right here. So you can take out this belt buckle if you wish and put your own there. And the Chicago screws are really gonna hold this very tightly. You have your choice of this brushed stainless steel belt buckle or you can go with brushed brass. That's hard to say. Um, one thing I will point out to you, I've been wearing this belt and I think it is of good quality. I think $68 maybe on the high end for a leather belt, but again, this is handmade. Got nice hand burnished edges, good quality. I don't think it's unreasonable at all. One thing I will point out though, they have on their website, they talk about how you're supposed to measure your belt. And typically it's from the end of the buckle, like the inside of the end of the buckle to the middle of the hole that you use the most. And when I did that, I got 35 inches, um, but their sizing on there was either 34 or 36. I went down to the 34 and this belt is still a little large for me. I have to go, basically if I go to the second to last hole, it's a little loose. But if I go to the very last hole, it's a little tight. And you know, typically you wanna be kind of in the middle hole. So if you measure your, your belt out and you think, oh, I'm a 34, you might wanna go a size smaller. Just something to bear in mind. But all in all, I think it's a very, very nice belt. I'm really digging the English bridal leather lately. I think I'm, it's something that I'm gonna wanna look for in the future um, because I really enjoy just, I like the sheen of the leather. I think it has a really nice surface and it seems to have really nice wear qualities. Next, we have the light brown wallet and the lumberjack wallet. Now the light brown wallet is actually kind of darker brown than the lumberjack wallet, but Grant says he may be renaming this at some point in the future, but I'll have the links to both of these in the description box. These are both $49, and as you can see, they're sort of a minimalist design, very similar to that uh, Saddleback front pocket ID wallet that I like so much, except this doesn't have the ID window. Um, they have five pockets, so two on each side and then one in the middle, and basically you'd be folding your bills, putting them here, 
They say they can fit two cards into each of these side pockets. So this is just a really thick, nice full grain leather. Again, the light brown wallet um, has been treated with oils. And again, it's that same kind of, it's not Chrome XL from Horween, but it's similar. I don't know if you can see where there's been pressure creases on the side of the wallet where the die sort of pulls away. So it's very similar in character to that Horween Chrome XL. And again, it'll get a really cool aged look to it and you can sort of rub out some of those scratches and things if you want. Both of these wallets are hand stitched with wax nylon thread. And whereas the light brown wallet does have that wax impregnated leather, the Lumberjack is more of a rustic kind of rough looking leather. Sort of scarred. I think it has a pretty cool aesthetic though. Again, using that waxed nylon thread. Um, pretty thick leather. It's a very thin, slim, minimal wallet, but I do have to say, when you first get this, they say you can put two cards in each slot. I had a heck of a time getting the cards in there at first. Now I know this is going to stretch out and usually when you're making something with leather, with full grain leather, it's going to stretch and so people tend to size it a little smaller at first because they're trying to allow for the fact that it's going to stretch. But if you get this and you try to put your cards in, you may be frustrated at first. It's going to take a little bit of work and then once they've been in there for a little while and they have time to stretch these pockets out, you shouldn't have a problem. But just bear in mind that upon first receiving this, it might be a little tight. It might be something to consider for Lumos to maybe size it just a tiny bit larger or maybe give just a little bit more room in the pockets because it was pretty difficult to get these cards in at first. So I just have two or I have one card here, one card here, then I have two cards here, one card here, and then some bills folded up. That's typically what I have in my wallet. I do like how compact this is. Front pocket, that's where I like to put my wallet and that's where this one goes. And finally, we have this handy little key fob that was sent to me. I'm not a key fob type guy, but uh, I know a lot of people like to hang their keys from their belt. And the cool thing is, is you can match your key fob to your belt. So these are both the brown leather, also available in tan and black. The key fob is $24, has really nice heavy duty hardware on here. That's not going anywhere. That's not coming off your belt with the snap and your keys are not falling off the hook here on the end. And again, this is made out of that 10 to 12 ounce thick English bridal leather, um, just like the belts are. So there you go, four different products from Lumos Leather. I think they're of very high quality. Couple little caveats, like I mentioned, you may need to size your belt down if you go for the belt, and the wallets are very tight when you first get them and they need to be worked in a bit but I think they're really well made. I really like the materials. There's, there's nothing like really nice full grain leather, is there? And also, if you have a dog, you can get a dog collar. They make watch straps. As I mentioned, his wife makes earrings. They look pretty cool. I don't wear earrings, so I don't really, I'm not really a judge. But if you wanna check out their website, they seem like really nice people. And if these products are anything to go on, I think you'll be pretty satisfied with anything you may purchase from them. So thank you guys so much for watching this overview of some of these Lumos leather products. Again, links to all these products in the description box below. But until next time, until we meet again, I've been your good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later.